Mamma mia. Γιώργο, ξύπνα! Πρέπει να πάμε για ψάρι, μα έχει ψάρι! A few moments later. Car is ready for fishing. We are all on board. Aren't we? Get out. Ella, get out. Carquilla. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Welcome back to the Ariel Spear Fishing Team channel. And uh, today we're gonna see some crazy fish. The last time we were fishing in Corinthia Coast, this time we are back at home in uh, uh, Saronikos Gulf. And uh, in particular we are on the south side of Salamina. And uh, in this dive I just uh, decided to go down and do a bit of warm up. But uh, there will be some surprise. Normally at this spot I just proceed with this aguato and ambush. And I never seen anything, but uh, this time uh, I see a pack of uh, kefalos, of mullet, that they come my way, and um, I decided to wait for them. But uh, maybe because I was not warm up, I just uh, make a mistake and shoot in the crowd. So I see that they are coming, and I wait a bit, I'm very relaxed, and then I take a shot. But uh, I miss the guy in the front row and I hit by mistake and very badly as far <laughs> as much as you can see this guy in the back and uh, I also got like my camera all tangled up in uh, the, the line of the spear gun and it's a bloody mess and I just uh, lost the fish after I managed to uh, set up again the gear and uh, reload the gun I managed to track down that is uh, wounded uh, mullet. Uh, I really want to take it. Uh, I also think that this fish is gonna die because it's badly injured. So I really want to take it. And as you see, it's just running away again. A few meters uh, from the last spot, uh, finally warmed up. I take a dive, uh, and uh, um, there is a drop that goes down to 15, 16 meters of water, and uh, the visibility is exceptionally good it's really really rare to see such a, a spectacular spectacular view down there in this spot and um, i'm a bit overwhelmed by all the small fish around and i'm not sure what is gonna be my strategy i just uh, want to wait for some fish and i see a nice amberjack that comes it's not so big and i immediately attempt the shot i also realized that maybe it was not worth it because it's a bit small and uh, somehow I'm actually happy that I missed it. So a few dives later this happens. Probably the same fish or a fish from the same pack just approached me and uh, this time I just don't go for a blind shoot. I just think and I can see that this is a small fish and uh, these small lumberjacks they are very curious. Uh, they are not afraid. They come and check you out. They are the easiest prey ever. So I managed to just don't <laughs> pull the trigger on this small fish and I'm uh, very satisfied by this view because the amber jack keeps uh, rolling around me and uh, I don't know it's very beautiful <laughs> Enough uh, with uh, documentaries, let's go hunting. In uh, this spot there is a natural canyon between these uh, big rocks and uh, the Im image from these amberjack swimming around is so beautiful and uh, I'm very happy to be diving in this spot right now. I see that there is a lot of movement and normally I would go hunting for uh, 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 groupers that they like to sit at the bottom of these rocks but I really get distracted by the fish that are swimming in the middle of the water and uh, I keep dropping because I feel and I hope that uh, a big amberjack, a bigger amberjack could be uh, hunting as well in these uh, same waters because the fish is quite nervous. So I miss this uh, uh, golden grouper that just pass in front of my eyes and I keep dropping. I have noticed this only after in the video editing and uh, then I decided to stop at this rock and this big mama pops up. In 
my head I'm estimating a fish on the <laughs> 10 kilos range probably it's not but uh, it's by far the biggest amberjack and <laughs> one of the biggest fish I've ever seen with my eyes so I keep uh, with um, an aspetto uh, waiting for uh, the fish I hope that uh, they may do another turn but they will not I also get distracted by this other fish swimming, I don't know the English name for it, in Greek they call it kokali, and normally I will shoot it, it's a fine eating, and, uh, but in my head now it's uh, all the focus on the tis amberjacks. I turn around and I start to make my way up slowly, it was a long and a deep dive and I am very excited for what I've just seen, I want to resurface and see my buddies waiting for me. Some minutes later, I take another dive and now I know what is waiting for me down there in the deeper side of the water. So I take this dive after a long time for relaxing, finding the focus, because I know that there are very nice probabilities of uh, meeting again at these amber checks. So I take uh, basically the same plan and I drop from where it's more shallow all the way out and um, I am uh, then uh, trying to find a place where I can uh, basically land and uh, wait for uh, the fish with uh, an aspetto. As I go, I have stopped to use my fins and I just use them as flaps for uh, finding my balance and my way. I decide that this rock will make it and I will not go any farther deep. Now this uh, is a fish uh, that uh, we're gonna remember for a while, what a great catch, uh, I'm very very happy about this. And um, a few moments later I will take uh, another dive and uh, we feel good, uh, we have uh, still a lot of energy so we take another uh, deep dive and uh, same technique, we just fall uh, down where uh, the rocks, uh, they leave space to uh, the sand. That is where uh, we have understood that the fish is hanging out today and uh, we are around 20-21 uh, meters and um, I decided to drop uh, on this rock again and I see some uh, small uh, groupers, uh, nothing of interest, I would hope to find another amberjack honestly but then uh, in this moment I realized that there is a, a white grouper looking at me it's quite far and I don't really know white groupers. I don't know how to approach them. So I just go for what I know and for the videos that I've watched. I just try to approach it uh, very slowly, making my shape as small as possible until I manage to shoot it. I noticed that the spear doesn't go through the fish, but the fish seems to have been um, shot quite well. I just uh, unlock the um, reel to leave the fish where it is and slowly make my way up to the surface where my body is gonna be waiting for me quite happy to see what I got
As you can see from the face of Yorgos, this Firida, the white grouper, it's not our usual catch. I don't want to pull the fish all the way up because I understand that uh, the spear didn't go all the way for the fish. After a few moments of actions, I'm asking the guys what are they waiting for, I'm really stressed, I really want to get this fish up to the surface and uh, Yorgos is asking how deep he, the dive is and I just uh, send him there to pick up the fish. <laughs> As I was suspecting, uh, the spear didn't go for the fish, and uh, the fish couldn't move, but um, it was not a nice choice to pull it from the surface, so it was nice to go and uh, recover the fish. Don't forget to subscribe and hit notification bell.